Let's recreate the apple glass effect, which is now the trending thing to do without any uh, clickbaiting or click here, comment here to get the details. Just straight in a small tutorial. Therefore, let's go into Figma. Click F on your keyboard to create a frame. For the frame, we add 40 border radius and also an auto layout and a set the fill to one opacity. Nice. Then we had several effects like inner shadow and outer shadow for this glossy shine. If you done so, it should look like this one. You still see no glass effect yet. Therefore, we are adding now the most important part, like an L on the keyboard, like a rectangle, and then creates a rectangle. That's a rectangle to fill and fill. That's a border radius to 40 minus four for the padding we added for the mainframe. Then also here, that's the fill to white, the fill opacity to one. And now comes the most important part, at the effect background blur. That's a background blur to one, this is more than enough. And also at the texture filter, click on texture and set the size of the filter as high as you want. And there you can already see the effect taking place. Let's make it a little something like this a little bit of wobble and then we are done so the effect is fully working and distorting everything behind it you can just add the texture filter and uh, done we are with the glass effect sadly it's not exactly the glass effect uh, apple delivered the shaders are not here yet in figma but i keep you updated on whenever figma will update them so that you can use them until now, we have only the texture distortion workaround. Hope you liked this one. And if you want to check the original file, you can go on the Figma community to search for Figma feature update 2025 playground. There I've added all the new added features from Figma and also the newly highly anticipated glass effect. Feel free to check it out. Enjoy and see you on the next one. Bye.